He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I saw the movie Marriage Story, directed by Noah Baumbach, and it is starring Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver. Now, this film comes out on Netflix streaming December the 6th, but... I am a crazy person, and I actually went to the movie theaters to see this. Now, this tells a story of a couple who is going through a divorce, but who is also trying to keep their family together. Now, I don't know about you, but I am obsessed with sad, depressing, realistic, raw, emotional films. Revolutionary Road, Blue Valentine, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. And there's a big fight scene in it between two people arguing and getting digs in on each other. I'm all there for it. I don't know what it is. I just love these types of films. And this is definitely one of those types of films. If you don't like sad, depressing movies, don't see this movie. It's not going to be up your alley. But if you do, like me, go see it. So the opening of this film was one of the best I have ever seen. They introduced the two characters in this creative, clever way where they show you what their likes are, their dislikes, their how they would act in a certain situation, and how they grew up, and, and just like little things, and you're like, oh yeah, I, I know who this person is because I know that type of person who does this or that. I don't want to say what these things are because I think it's so clever and cute and it was so enjoyable. I'm literally going to rewatch this movie just for that first 20 minutes alone. Such a great introduction to both of the characters. You're instantly connected with them. You know who they are by these little mannerisms and things that they do. And I thought it was so brilliant how Noah Baumbach did this. And I loved it so much. Yeah. The whole movie felt so real and realistic, like I've already said. There, like, somebody sneezes in a scene, somebody trips and falls a little bit, and you know that those were just kept in there because there were these real moments. I will say, sometimes it felt a bit staged to me. It did feel a little bit like it was a theater performance. For instance, somebody is always making a coffee or water or eating something or blowing their nose or throwing something away or just walking aimlessly around a room doing some sort of chore. It felt like I was watching live theater. And it worked, but it didn't. Certain scenes it's a work, and certain scenes it doesn't. So it was, a, it was an interesting choice. He does, Noah Baumbach did these long, continuous shots, or he did these long shots that felt continuous, but they were edited so sharply that they looked like they were continuous. I love them so much. I love a good long take where you just start at point A, and you go 10 minutes, and you get to point C, and so much shit happens in between. There is a massive fight scene near the end of this film that I loved so much. I literally was, was eating my popcorn. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. They were like digging each other, saying these things. I was like, oh, you should not say that. I know why you're saying that, but you're saying it because you're emotionally hijacked. So good. The writing was so good. So fun to watch. I guess I just like to watch people fight. In the acting was superb in this movie. Adam Driver, Scarlett Johansson. I have honestly probably not seen either one of them in a film better than this for either one of them. I thought they worked so well together. They were emotionally raw. They were they were just great characters and, and great performances out of both of them. And I really loved watching the both of them work and go through this this ordeal and this this story. Laura Dern was also really good. I thought her character was a little unrealistic, but I know there are people like that. I just thought it was... The whole movie just felt so realistic that this character was like, yeah, really? And then there was another woman in the movie that I know she's from Baskets, but she comes in in Adam Driver scene, and she is so unrealistic, that took me out of the whole movie. But back, backing up a little bit, Alan Arkin in this film shocked the hell out of me. I, didn't, I, I don't even think I knew he was in this, but he kind of stole a lot of the scenes for me. I thought he was so great, and he really stood out. I think all four have a very strong chance of getting a nomination. And Best Actor, Best Actress, Supporting Actress, Supporting Actress. I don't think it's been done... I mean, I know it happened in A Streetcar Named Desire, but I think it may have happened one other time, but it's incredible. All four of these actors could get nominated, along with directing, best picture, editing, so much uh, screenplay. It's going to get nominated for a ton of stuff, and I can't wait to see what it wins. I guess my biggest complaint about this movie would be the length. It is two hours and 20 minutes long, which is way too long for a movie like this. It's about 30 minutes too long. I honestly felt like I was watching a director's cut. There were so many scenes he could have cut out. I can think of two in particular involving songs that just, they didn't feel like they fit. I mean, they did, but they didn't further the story long enough for me. And there were cute scenes, but they weren't unnecessary. And there was an easy seven minutes you could have chopped out right there. I just thought the movie was way too long and it kind of drags. And I wish it was shorter. Uh, 
With all that being said, this is one of the best films of the year. The acting, the writing, the style of the film, everything about it was so wonderful. It just, it's one to puzzle, all the pieces fit, and it just felt really good to watch, even though you might cry. Now, it will be on Netflix streaming, which is an interesting platform. I saw in the theater, which I loved, but I don't think you have to see in the theater, so I think this is the best platform for it. A lot of people are going to get some eyes on this. I am just so excited to see what it gets nominated for. It is coming on December the 6th on Netflix streaming, and it will be in a home near you. Until next time. He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.